Well, he's just a dynamic player. I mean, he's a he's a matchup issue for for opposing defenses, and you know it's it's our job to make sure we try to find every way possible to put the ball in our best playmakers' hands. And he's one of those guys, as well as some other guys on our team. Um, but you want to make sure at the end of the game he's getting touches, you know, whether it be through the screen game, whether it be through the run game, or whether it be through the passing game. So you want to try to find every opportunity to put him in a position where he has an opportunity to be successful and make our offense go. First of all, I just want to give all the credit to God. Like, when I go out there on a Friday night, it's his, his will what I do, and um, I just want to play through him. And um, he's blessing me with the ability I have, with the skills that I have to stay healthy and keep having these great games. And um, huge shout out to my O-line, my tight ends, quarterback receivers making great blocks down the field. But when I go out there, I really just try to be patient and let everything open up before I find a hole and hit it with speed. And I feel like our um, front does a great job opening stuff up, allowing me to do that. So I feel like as an offense, we work very well together and allowing that to happen. The thing about it is, is they set him up and he sets them up. Um, you know, I've been proud of our old line. You know, we got to continue to play well. You know, and the thing about it, our guys understand what we're doing up front. He understands what they're doing. He understands the different looks that we get because we've seen about every look you could see. And he's, I mean, he's got a good relationship with those guys. And they know when it's there, he's going to hit it. Um, and then he knows that they're going to play tremendously hard for him and play with an edge. And, you know, this past week, I mean, our, our O-line did a really good job of dominating the box along with our tight ends um, to give him some creases and some running lanes. And when he gets a second, third level, our receivers did a really good job of blocking downfield also. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, at first we were shaky during the spring ball, but we really started gelling together, get, gaining chemistry together. And I feel like that's propelled our run game so much more. And I'm um, so proud of those guys up front, so grateful and blessed to have them blocking for me. And the friendship and relationship we have off the field, I think, also helps us even more on the field. I think the biggest thing for him, he wants everybody to know that he's a team player. And, uh, you know, and that means a lot. And, uh, and I think that's why he's been so successful is because he understands all the guys and he understands how much God's blessed him tremendously because, you know, after every game, you know, he's thanking God for all the abilities and the talents that he has. And so he's got his priorities straight. And I think when you have your priorities straight, you always have a chance to be successful. I wake up every morning with a get-to mindset. Like, I get to be here. I get to be able to practice. And um, I just want to bring – bring happiness, energy to my teammates and say, we get to be here. This isn't guaranteed. This is an opportunity for us to get better, for us to glorify our Lord. And um, so I think for me, it's a get-to mindset that allows me to um, go every day and be at my full potential. It's a we over me. I mean, and, and you know, he embodies that. Um, you know, I mean, and he does it for his teammates. And, you know, he comes out, he's always got a good attitude in the mornings. I mean, we, we start really, really early. So, you know, most kids struggle in the mornings, but, you know, he's one of those guys that comes in with a great attitude, leaves with a great attitude every day, wants to learn, wants to get better, wants to make all of his teammates better. I think it's really my mindset. When I get the ball, I'm thinking first down and touchdown. I'm not thinking just get a few yards. I'm thinking take it to the house and run through whatever I have to run through to get there. And I think that's my biggest edge is my mindset when I get the ball. If you could boil it down to one thing that gives him his edge over the competition out here, what would it be? Well, he's just got it. You know, he's just got it. I mean, he wants to get better every day. You know, I think the key to being really good, whether it's as a team or an individual in life, it's about consistency. You know, he shows up every day consistent. You know, he shows up every day trying to get 1% better. You know, he wants to be the fastest running back in the country. So every day he works at trying to be the fastest running back in the country. You know, there's things that he wants to work on in his game that he shows up on a day-to-day -day basis working on to make sure that, you know, he's going to do everything within his power to make sure we have an opportunity to be successful at the end of the day. And so I think his edge is his it. He's got it. You know, and, you know, it's hard to explain really what it is, but, you know, when you see somebody with it, you know they got it. You coming in as a former quarterback, you know, how do you think that helps you, you know, just see? Yeah, as a quarterback, I mean, I was able to just sit back there and read, but as a running back, it's different, taking it from the side, from the pistol, taking a handoff. But for me, it's about the same, reading holes, because I've always been a patient runner, because I believe, like, patience, you, then you go. So, I mean, it's about the same for me. Well, I just think he understands offensive football. Um, you know, he's just a really, really good athlete. He's got unbelievable burst and speed. But I think, too, when you play quarterback, you kind of understand how it all works together. Um, you know, whether it's the run game, whether it's protections, whether it's solutions off the run game, but also understanding how those things work in the box as far as the run game goes. That's helped him at the back as far as being patient. 
you know, and then understanding that and then being able to hit it when he needs to hit it, when he needs to be patient, let it develop, then he lets it develop. Oh yeah, I mean, every day there's an opportunity to get better. We just gotta wake up with a one and zero mindset every day in practice, not just on Friday nights. We gotta go one and zero every period, every quarter and everything we do. And I think that's our edge as a team, is that's our standard, is that we get better every single opportunity that we get.